Hi everybody. As promised, uh, a new series is starting up here with RLC Design. Um, a few weeks ago I had announced the launch of our new Patreon site and on that site we have a whole series of training videos on building websites with WordPress Xtheme from ThemeCo and uh, building it all on WP Engine. Now I said I was going to be doing a completely new series because there were a couple of changes um, from this spring when I did the original series on WordPress and the Xtheme and so we are going to do that and we're going to walk you through um, the building uh, on our test site rlcdemo.wpengine.com so we're including two videos from the original series so that we don't duplicate things starting you out with a completely clean slate so an unbuilt website that will turn into what you see here on the RLC demo site now this was a demo for a proposal to a new client who we did land and who they are now using the site we built for them to do reservations and bookings for their bed and breakfast in Prescott Arizona and the site's working really well for them after you go through the two initial videos on building from scratch we're doing something completely different um, I'm going to walk you through a new site build that RLC design is doing for ourselves so it's a site that has been an idea that I've had for years and the rest of the team at RLC Design, Jody and Greg, uh, are totally on board with this as well. It's going to be a very interesting and informative site and no it's not a tutorial site, it's for something really fun and if you decide to sign up with our Patreon account you're going to get walked through start to finish and that's not just about the site build. One of the big components, one of the things that we do very well is actually getting your website found so we're gonna teach you about getting your site found and we're gonna do it with this brand new site and so I'm giving you a lot of teaser stuff but this this is gonna be a really interesting series I promise so it's important to have a visually compelling site so this is kinda neat looking here uh, the RLC demo but it doesn't have a lot of content um, what's really important people are searching for things on Google or the other search engines and most likely if you've built a site on your own and you've done something on Wix or one of the other site builders people probably aren't finding you through Google um, if you don't know how to do search engine optimization well uh, you are going to be in a lot of trouble uh, you're gonna build a site and you know if you build it they will come no uh, on the internet if you build it they have hundreds of millions of other choices and people who are better than you at doing your search engine optimization so we're gonna talk a lot about how to get a new website found and we're gonna guide you through the process now what happens when you build a site that actually does start driving traffic to you let's let's take a look so I'm just going over to Pointer Rocks campground here they are one of our clients they've been a client of ours now um, for several years and their site is growing um, every year. The staff is incredibly engaged and they work with their website too. They've taken our training classes and we work directly with them as well. Uh, we do ongoing maintenance for them for some of the heavy lifting items and we also do video production for them and we also create posts for them. Now when we first redid their site, let's go to their statistics really quick and we redid their site in January of 2015 so that's when we started tracking now I can tell you for a fact we had looked at their old site which was just a couple of pages and looked like something right out of 1995 with the first HTML browsers um, their old site drove less than 5,000 unique visitors a year to them now this is a park that basically almost has 100 sites in it um, so in 365 days a year and 100 sites 5,000 unique visitors to the website not all of them are going to stay with you um, that's that's not really great outreach so in 2015 when we rebuilt the site for them let me point down here real quick so you can take a look they had 136,960 page views 
they had 31,783 unique visitors. That's a sizable jump from under 5,000. So 2016, they kept moving forward. The staff continued doing posting. We made sure that the site was up to date and that we were working with all the new parameters from uh, Google. And so what did we get for 2016? 175,000 page views and 42,184 unique visitors. Sounds a lot better than 5,000. Finally, this year in 2017, the year is not over yet. 138,000 page views, 41,959 unique viewers. By the end of this year, they will definitely surpass 2016 again. So what we're seeing is consistent growth and we're seeing that people are actually finding them. And I'm just clicking on this really quick. We're gonna scroll down. So people don't just know your website's name or address. They don't know Point of Rocks exists, so we need to get in front of them. Now, recently I did a video on search engine optimization talking about this particular business. The fact that they've been doing an events calendar for their guests so that when a guest comes to their website, they can find out what's happening in town. Well, several weeks ago, Prescott, Arizona hosted the Monsoon Festival. And there was a huge spike in traffic that week and weekend on Point of Rock's website. Why? Because they ranked uh, in the top positions on a Google search for um, Prescott Monsoon Festival. So when people were looking for information about the Monsoon Festival, they did such a good job on their SEO that people were landing at Point of Rock's website before they were landing at the City of Prescott or the Chamber of Commerce or the events planners who were putting the events on and making some money. Um, they didn't do a good job with their SEO because a local RV park beat them and ended up being the number one information resource for that weekend. Fortunately, the folks at Point of Rocks put information and links and phone numbers so that people could get to the actual uh, creators of the event and get more information, but they did pop up enough information to be useful. So. Over the course of that weekend, they had over 1,600 unique visitors coming to that one page about the Monsoon Festival. Most likely, most of those people um, weren't looking for an RV park, but that got Point of Rocks in front of a totally different audience. Started an outreach to people who wouldn't normally be looking for them, and I'm sure that a couple of the people who popped onto the site, found out about the Monsoon Festival, had an aha moment with one of those little light bulbs above their head and said, hey, you know, next time I come up to Prescott, I could stay at this place. So, and that's, that's part of what you want your website to do. So we are gonna talk to you a lot about that in this new special series where we're building a brand new website, not completely from scratch. I had already started some of it. So that's why the next two videos that you're gonna watch are from our old series on starting the site from scratch and then we're going to delve into this new site together and I'm going to walk you through the decisions I make on images, on video, on the content I'm putting in and why I'm using the words I'm using um, for the website. So over a several months period of time we should see this grow, we should start seeing search engine searches and if we do this right our intent is to dominate um, in a particular market and actually displace some of the folks who are talking about the information we're going to be sharing there. Um, number one, because I like a challenge. Number two, because I think the information we're going to be doing with this new website is going to be useful to people. And number three, it's going to be a proof of concept and a demonstration to other people who might be interested in our services once they realize we've displaced them in their rankings. Speaking of that, one more thing to say about the bed and breakfast we worked with this year. So it's only been a couple of months and they had no web presence whatsoever and it does take a few months to really start getting rankings out there if you're not doing paid advertising with Google or Facebook or somebody. But um, the Watson Lake Inn bed and breakfast is now coming up on page one of Google if you're doing a search for Prescott bed and breakfast and they're coming up page one for multiple other items. So they're growing. And we're gonna talk about that in this series. So when you're done with this video, there's gonna be a couple of links up on the top. And those links are gonna to go to our initial 
introduction when we started the RLC demo website when it was just a blank website and we're gonna walk you through um, the introduction to that course and then in the second video from that course we're going to take the blank website and start turning it into something once you're done with that second part you're gonna be back with me on this uh, on this new journey so you'll have an idea of okay we went from blank to having something in it now what are we pouring into it and that's where I'm gonna pick up again here so it's September of 2017 by the way and this series should be fully published before the end of September because I'm aggressively working on the new website and so I'm just gonna have you along with me for that whole experience so by the way if you decide after watching our series that there is a lot of work to be done with building a really good online presence and that doesn't just mean your website that, that means social media as well and using everything you know every tool available to you to reach your new customer base so if you find through this video series that wow this is a lot of work and a lot of engagement and I don't know that I have that time I understand where you're coming from you're running your business so if you realize that there's a lot to this and a lot to doing it right RLC design services we're here to help you and we can actually help you build your site and reach the marketplace that you want to reach so you can either take the full series or you can get in touch with us and we can help you reach out to your audience and start driving business like we've done for Point of Rocks and Watson Lake Inn and Bear Shoe and La Mesa RV Park and Springerville RV Park and all the rest of our clients um, we can start helping you today and by the way just as I was saying before there is a lot of work behind this even working with a professional design group what you're gonna find is that you need to spend some time on your online presence thinking about who it is you want to reach and who it is you want to talk to if you don't spend that time most likely your online presence is going to fail to do the job that you want it to our most successful clients that we work with on an ongoing basis are all heavily engaged with us on growing their online presence we have weekly conference calls with them to find out where they are to review where they want to be and to talk about what we're gonna to do to move them forward so whether or not you work with a professional design company or if you're doing this on your own be prepared to spend some time it you know hard work does pay off and it takes work to reach your audience they're not going to find you overnight if it was that simple I wouldn't be doing this video at all and I'd be building my website on Wix because I could just throw it up in a few minutes pop up some cute pictures and be on my way if I actually want my website to become part of my business and a funnel to my business I'm going to be doing a lot more work than just using a quick website builder and then waiting for the customers to pour in alright everybody so at the end of this video uh, up in the top areas you're going to have links to video one and video two of the old series and then we'll be starting into the new series and by the way if you are one of our patreon subscribers you'll have access to the rest of the old series which is going to cover a lot a lot of what we cover in this series but there were some minor changes to the X theme um, with X Pro and 5.0 so some of the things in the old series are outdated um, not massive things we're talking tiny little things but things that annoy me enough to make me want to make this entirely new series for you all right thanks for tuning in and uh, thanks for your interest in RLC design and please get in touch with us and let us know if this series is um, is working for you and helping you understand your online presence and where you need to go all right we'll see you in the next video thanks for stopping in